All right, in this scene over here, I want to talk about the complements pathways, and I want to make it really easy and a lot of fun. Now, the reason why students classically have a difficult time understanding the complement pathways is because they get so caught up in the details and lose focus of the bigger picture. So let's first talk about that bigger picture. What is the purpose of the complement system? And the answer to that is to help clear pathogens and mediate inflammation. And how does the complement system do this? It does it through the production of various products, not just Mac. That was my initial problem in understanding the complement system. I thought the whole purpose of the complement system was to produce Mac. No, Mac is only one of several things that we want to produce through the complement system. But yeah, let's talk about Mac for a moment. Mac is of course important for creating holes in cell membranes, and it is very important in fighting against gram-negative bacteria. But there are other products which the complement system produces. The complement system produces C3B. C3B is important for opsonization, which prepares pathogens for phagocytosis. The complement system produces C3A and C5A, which are important for triggering mast cell degranulation. C5A also is important for neutrophil chemotaxis. So Mac is not the only thing that we want to produce. We want to produce all these products which we mentioned. So if you understand this, that the purpose of complement is to create these products, then you understand most of what you need to understand about the complement system. But let's take it one step further and get to the mechanism. So we know that the complement system can be activated through three different pathways. The alternative pathway, the lectin pathway, and the classic pathway. All three of these pathways converge to produce C3 convertase, then C5 convertase, and then MAC. C3 convertase and C5 convertase are each responsible for cleaving things. That's why over here we have the C guys over here with the swords, who will be slicing things. What does C3 convertase cleave? C3 convertase, of course, cleaves C3 to produce C3A and C3B. If you recall, C3A is important for triggering degranulation and C3B for opsonization. But C3B also comes along and helps produce C5 convertase. C5 convertase, of course, cleaves C5. When C5 is cleaved, it produces C5A and C5B. C5A, as we mentioned, is important for neutrophil chemotaxis. C5B is important because it joins C6 to C9 to produce MAC. Well, what is MAC? We have this guy over here who's about to punch a hole in the wall. And this reminds us of what MAC is responsible for, for creating holes in cell membranes. All right, so this is really complement system in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed. Take care.